The Tama Oil Refinery Tour started as Ghana Italian Petroleum Company, GHAIP, and was licensed as a limited liability company in 1960. It started operations in 1963 and became a solely owned Ghanaian company in April 1977 when the government of Ghana bought all the shares in the company. In 1999, the name was changed to Tema Oil Refinery Tor. Tor is the premier and only refinery in Ghana, among the first eight refineries in Africa. It has a refinery capacity of 45,000 barrels per stream day and remains a major refinery of crude oil in Ghana. In 1996, Tor's business strategy changed, allowing it to procure its own crude and market refined products. But its extended business exposed the company to political and market risks. These risks largely emanated from price regulation and excessive interference from government, which led to accumulation of debt over the years. By 2003, Tor had accumulated so much debt that it became financially unsustainable and required state intervention. Parliament therefore passed the Tor Debt Recovery Fund Act 2003, Act 624, which imposed a levy on petroleum consumers to raise revenue to defray Tor's debt. The total debt by the end of 2003 stood at 430.7 million Ghana cities. By 2020, the public had paid 3.8 billion Ghana cities, currently almost equivalent to 8.6 billion Ghana cities. The current outstanding debt is in excess of 2 million Ghana cities. This is in spite of many efforts over the years to pay down the debt and raise loans to retool the company. Currently, Tor has over 700 workers, and for a long time, the refinery has not refined a barrel of crude. Tor also owes ECG, the Ghana Water Company, and GRA, while its workers' provident funds are in arrears. In April this year, Tor workers went on a protest, demanding that a private partnership negotiation be speeded up to revive the company. Management of Tor settled on Torrentco as the private partner. But the staff of Tor say the process leading to the choice of Torrentco has not been transparent and that Torrentco lacks the capacity to manage the state refinery. The workers describe the lease agreement as a PDS-ECG scandal in the making. They say Torrentco has not shown any financial and technical support. Besides, it does not have any experience in refinery in the country. We realize that the premise on which Toronto or Torenko won this bid was pretty flawed. Wow. Because it won the bid on the back of Vitor. Okay. Vitor's capacity, Vitor's track record, Vitor's credibility. Okay. Now that we have evidence to support the fact that, in fact, Vitor doesn't have that arrangement with Torenko. Then we ask ourselves, hmm. what is the board business? Why are they on table with Vitor? Uh, why are they on table with Torenko? There is a clear case of possible misrepresentation of Torenko. And so we have asked that, no, pull the brakes. Let us interrogate the issue. Then we realize that, oh, we, there, there is even a due diligence report that the board of Temari Party contracted an entity to do on Torenko. Yeah. So when, when we stumble on the due diligence report, it confirms our assessing. In fact, it outlines a list of um, um, capacity and credibility sought for okay. or pitfalls that were associated with Torenko. It's rather unfortunate this is happening because as tour workers, all we wanted is for tour to run. So if we have partners, why are we now fighting against it? Reason being is we have gone through all the documents and we have seen that it will not favor us. All that we are saying is they should go back to their table and come back again. Until then, there's nothing to work with. According to a due diligence report cited by GBC News, there are a number of concerns that need to be addressed. CSOs in the energy sector and workers of toll are also demanding that governments go into this deal with a lot of caution to avert any problems in the future.